I think all of us who garden in Oklahoma this year really appreciated the summer we had. The cooler temperatures and the abundant rainfall. Well, here in Stillwater, pretty much the month of September and early October, we haven't gotten much rain at all. And I was kind of thinking to myself, it would have been good to bottle up some of that rainfall we got in the summertime to use here in the fall. Well, there actually is a way to bottle up some of that rainfall, or so to speak, and that is to create a rain barrel. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today in an inexpensive uh, method with a plastic trash can. Now, you may remember on our program two years ago, we were out in the Panhandle shooting a series of shows, and we visited the garden of Jerry Snap near Boyce City and she had a system set up with some guttering, piping, and containers to catch all the runoff water from all of the structures on her property. And she used that rainwater to water her plants. Now, capturing rainwater is a really good idea. It's water that's great for plants, and if we use this water, we don't have to use as much water from a municipal source like our cities. So that way we can help conserve water. Now, I would like to point out that water that comes off the roof can have dirt and debris, bird droppings, and some roofing materials will actually leach a few chemicals. So for that reason, it's a good idea to not let any people or pets drink any water that comes off the roof. But it is really good water for our plants. Well, to get started here, I'll just show you the materials that we'll need. You need a 35 gallon plastic trash can, one that's uh, uh, heavy duty, and uh, make sure it has a lid on it. We'll also need several tools and other supplies here, maybe a marker. We'll need an outdoor type faucet, brass faucet, and then some fittings, some, some nuts, some washers, and uh, some uh, plastic or rubber washers as well. And if you can, on the outdoor faucet, get one that has a long threaded section, long threaded pipe section, as long as possible, and preferably, preferably one with an outside diameter of about a half inch. That way you can take a half inch drill to drill a hole through your trash can to uh, set the spigot in. We'll need a couple wrenches, some silicon sealant, some sort of saw like a skill saw or jigsaw and some nylon or fiberglass mesh something that would uh, be similar to what you would use on your windows that is uh, weather resistant well the first thing we're going to do is to figure out where we want to attach our spigot on our water can or rain barrel so we'll just bring our little watering can over We'll make a mark on here. You can know that if we have our, our little spigot right here, that would be a, a good place. Good place to drill our, our hole. And again, we'll just take our drill and we'll put a hole here in our trash can. Okay, now that we've got our hole drilled in our rain barrel, we've got it high enough again where we can put that faucet there and get our watering can underneath. We can attach the faucet. And you can see here, I've already added two of these washers, just the, uh, the brass one and then the rubber washer. And again, you can see why it's important to have a longer threaded end. So we're just gonna barely have enough, have enough room to uh, get a nut on the on the end of those threads but we've got that in place now so we're just going to attach it in the hole here just kind of screw it in hopefully it's a good snug fit and now i'm going to put a nut on the back side here and it would have been nice if we would have room to uh, put a couple more washers and then the nut but uh Again, the, uh, the faucet we were able to get a hold of wasn't long enough, and you'll just have to look at your hardware store or plumbing store for the different fittings and uh, kind of come up with your own version of uh, putting your, your faucet together. Now 
Now you want these parts snug, but you don't want to over tighten them. Now to give a little bit of extra insurance against leaks, I'm going to add some, some sealant around the, uh, the end, the edge of the, the washer here. With this type of silicone sealant, it takes about 30 minutes to dry, but it takes about 24 hours for it to completely cure. Well, the next thing we need to do is to fix the lid of our rain barrel so that the water from our downspout can enter into the top here. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to cut a hole in the uh, lid. So I've got some clothespin clamps here. I'm just going to clamp the lid on. And then I'm going to grab a tape measure here. And I'm just going to measure out about five or six inches from the center of the lid. And this one is helpful. Got a little dot of plastic there to let us know where the center is. I'll just come out here about five inches around the lid. Excuse me, about six inches around the lid here and make a hole large enough for the uh, downspout to let the water enter the can without a lot of it splashing away. And then I'm just going to kind of roughly draw this here. If you had a compass, you could get an exact circle. But now we're ready to just cut that out and to get our jigsaw started, just have to drill a pilot hole big enough for the skill saw or the jigsaw blade. Okay, now we've got a hole in our lid here. It's not perfectly round, but that's okay with me. And I see I've got dust all over the lens of the camera there, but uh, hopefully you can still see what's going on. Remove the clamps and then we flip this over. And we've got a hole here where the water can enter our rain barrel. Now I know there's probably a lot of you out there are saying, well, Steve, looks like you just created a large mosquito breeding tank. And if we left it like that, that's probably what it would be. But we can keep the mosquitoes from getting into our rain barrel by taking this nylon screening or fiberglass screening. And I'm just going to kind of roll it out here and cut a section big enough to fit over the mouth of the trash can. So I'll cut this with just some scissors, not using the skill saw. Now again, I'm just going to cut this big enough to fit over the mouth of the can. And if we wanted, we could come back and maybe trim up some of those corners, maybe cut it in more of a circle. Just kind of pull it a little bit tight. Get it off of our, our plants there. And then we just snap the lid of the trash can over the trash can. And now when the uh, water comes in, it's sort of screened, and the mosquitoes can't get in there to lay eggs. So then we'll just position our trash can, or rain barrel now, as we can call it, back here. And uh, we'll modify our guttering or downspout and uh, put another elbow, <coughs> excuse me, in here. And uh, we'll be all set up to fill our rain barrel. We filled our can with some regular tap water just to check for leaks here. Looks like we got it in there okay. And I do want to point out that again we put our faucet at this level so we can get our watering can under there. Another option would be to elevate the rain barrel and put the tap down at the bottom. Now you could use several rain barrels around your home and you could even plumb a few of them together with some plumbing down at the bottom of the cans. Now again the 
rainwater is going to be a lot better for your plants than regular tap water. It's going to be softer. It's chlorine free. It'll have a little bit of nitrogen in it whenever we have some thunderstorms and a little bit of sulfur as well. It's just what those plants need and we've got our rain barrel together. All we need to do now is get the guttering situated where the that downspout will spill right into the top of our rain barrel and then just wait for it to rain.